some fighters. Here comes a new challenger. Not confined to simply fighting or action games, life or health systems have been a major component for video games since their conception. With our basic combat system created, in this Games Made Easy video, we'll show you how to create a health system using code. For this health system, you can create a new script or simply modify the combat script we created in the previous video. We'll also want to add three additional animations, a light, medium, and hard hit impact. For the sake of this video, we'll also use an additional character in order to better visually demonstrate on screen. With that said, to create this health system, you don't need characters, animations, or a game environment. You simply need a few UI elements, which you can create or purchase yourself, or download and use the free health UI elements we created and used in this video, which we placed in the link in the description. You also find a link to download the completed C Sharp script we'll create in this video. Let's begin by opening our scene and adding our health bar UI elements. We'll also create four buttons to represent the four attack types in order to better visually see what's happening on screen. Before we begin, let's quickly go over the logic and basic structure of our health system. Like in most games, our attacks will be broken up into six attack types, light, medium, heavy, special, super, and blocked attacks. However, in this video, we'll simply demonstrate four, light, medium, heavy, and blocked attacks. Each attack will do damage in the form of taking a certain amount of points or percentage from our player or enemy's health, with light attacks being the lowest, and super attacks being the highest. For blocked attacks, we can either choose to dramatically lower the amount of points or damage the player will take, or to have the player take no damage at all. For this demonstration, we'll choose to lower the damage the player will take, otherwise, a player can simply block the whole round without suffering any consequences. That said, there are several ways, which we'll cover in future videos, you can achieve balanced gameplay even while using a health and combat system that doesn't damage the player's health if they block an attack. Before we begin creating our health system, we want to ensure that our health UI image component image type is set to field. And we want to then set the field method to horizontal. This way, as the player or enemy's health goes down, it can easily be visually shown to our players. However, if you can't or don't want to use the UI image component for the health bar, you can also use the same method we'll demonstrate and simply apply it to adjust the X axis of the transform scale of the player or enemy's health bar. With that complete, let's begin creating our health system. In most cases, we'd simply add this to our combat system script. However, for the sake of this video, we'll create a new script which we'll call player health script. With our script created in name, let's now open it in our script editing software. Much like our combat system script, before we begin, let's first go over the logic we want to create. If our player is hit, we want to deduct a certain amount of their health, and we want the amount we deduct to be determined by the type of attack used by the opponent. However, if the player is blocking, we want to offset the amount of damage the player will receive. Lastly, we want to visually represent the player's newly reduced health value by reducing the size of our life bar, as well as through our hit impact animations. With that said, before we begin, in order to be able to access the classes and variable types we'll need for the script, we'll need to add in the Unity Engine UI namespace. For those unfamiliar with this process, in order to do this, at the top of our script, before declaring the script class, we'll simply type using Unity Engine dot UI and then end that with a semicolon. With that said, if you're using a brand new script, we'll start by creating eight variables. However, if you're using the combat script we created in a previous video, you'll only need six because the first two variables will be a public game object variable for our player and the other variable 
is an animator variable which will house an animator component. We'll next create an image variable which will store the image component for our health bar. And our last five variables will be public floats. One will be for our player's overall health value. The next will represent the amount of damage for our light attack. Then one for our medium attack damage, our heart attack damage, and then lastly, one to represent our blocking damage offset. We'll start by going into our start method and setting our player's health to the value of 100. And we then want to use our player's health value to set the fill value on our image component. To do this, we'll type the name of our image component variable, then dot fill amount. And we'll say equals player health. However, if we look at our health bar image component, we'll see the range of our fill value only goes from zero to one. So let's create another float variable, which we'll call player health value. And in our start method, after we set our player health to 100, we then wanna say our player health value is equal to our player health multiplied by 0.01. And let's also set our health bar image fill amount value to equal the value of our player health value variable. Before we continue, let's first test out our script so far. So let's place our script on our character or any other game object, and let's drag our character into our public character game object variable. And we'll also need to drag our health bar into our public health bar image variable. And to ensure everything is working correctly, Let's take our health bar fill amount to zero. If we press play, we can see that our fill amount is set to one. If we click on our character, we can see that their player health value is 100. If we go back into our script and remove our pieces of code that set the player's health value and the fill amount for our image component into our update method, we can see how our value can adjust in real time. With that complete, let's create the method for our light attack. Our attack methods will be fairly simple. First, we want to subtract the player's health from our light attack damage value. To do this, instead of typing player health equals player health subtract light attack damage, we can simply write it in shorthand by saying player health subtract equals light attack damage. And since our health bar is being set in our update function, we lastly want to trigger our hit impact animation. So we'll use our character animator variable in our set trigger method and then find the name of our hit impact trigger. If we look inside of our animator controller, you can see that instead of our hit animation states transitioning from our idle state, our hit animation state transitions from our any state. Our any state allows our animation to be queued at any point as long as the condition parameter is met. Though it's something to use sparingly, using the any state for hit reactions or to trigger a player death or stunned animation are ideal states to be placed on the any state. With that complete, since a similar code will be used for both our medium and heavy attack damage, let's copy and paste our light attack method and adjust the variables for both our medium and heavy attack damage. Let's add in our blocking damage offset. For this, instead of creating a new method, let's simply add it to the tag methods we just created. For this, we first want to check to see if the character is blocking or not blocking. It's for this reason, in the combat script we created in a previous video, that our character triggered a boolean whenever they were blocking. However, if we're using a brand new script, we simply need to create a boolean in our script that represents when the character is blocking. With our boolean created, we want to go into our attack methods and say if our is blocking boolean is true, we want our player's health equals player health subtract our attack damage divided by our blocking damage offset. And lastly, we'll say else 
and then place in our remaining code. And we'll do this for each of our attack methods. Lastly, for the sake of this video, we'll also create a method which can toggle our blocking boolean on and off. With that complete, let's go back into Unity and test our health system. To do this, we'll place it on our UI buttons and call our methods using its onClick Unity event system. Before we test out our script, we'll also need to go and set the amounts that we want to use for our light attack damage, our medium attack damage, and our heavy attack damage. We'll also need to set a value for our blocking damage offset. So for our light attack, we'll place 5. For our medium attack, we'll place 10 and we'll set our heavy attack value to 20. And for our blocking damage, we'll place the value of four, which means that the character will only take a quarter of the damage if they're blocking. For example, if we set our heavy attack to 60 with the damage offset of four, the player would only take 15 points of damage. However, feel free to use any values or settings that you feel will work best in your game. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways.